Well, folks, let's take a look at the tail of the tape here for this middleweight showcase. Fabian Edwards and Aaron Kennedy, identical in age, identical in height, nearly identical on the scales yesterday. The assassin with that immaculate pro record. Kennedy making his debut after a splendid amateur career. Let's go over to our master of ceremonies, the official voice of Bama, Buddy Johnson for the introductions. We are live on day number 30, powered by Betbright. We are ready for three five minute rounds in the middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting in the blue corner, standing six feet one inches tall and weighting officially at 184.8 pounds. Making his Bama debut, fighting out of Belfast, Northern Ireland, he is Aaron Kennedy. And his opponent in the red corner, also standing six feet one inches tall and weighting officially at 185.4 pounds. He has an official record of one win with no defeat, fighting out of Birmingham, England, by way of Jamaica. He is Fabian the Assassin Edwards. When the action begins, your referee in charge is Mr. Daniel Mobahedi. With the gentleman Daniel Mobahedi in charge, we kick things off in what will be an explosive match between Fabian the Assassin Edwards in the red corner, Aaron Kennedy in the blue. Do not blink, ladies and gentlemen. As we know, Fabian Edwards is the owner of an insane switch knee that he'd knock you out when that connects. And certainly a very masterful kickboxer from that southpaw position, the right foot forward, leading with the right hand is Edwards. Left hand and left foot forward for the orthodox position, his opponent, Aaron Kennedy. Inside low kick there from Edwards. Kennedy opting to bounce in and out, and he's no slouch in the striker room. He's got that killer instinct, and he's always looking for the finish, far in the right hand down the center. But Edwards, certainly very, very gifted at trying to shuttle you and work you into positions that catch you out. Swing and a miss there from Edwards with a straight left. Fabian coming out with that southpaw stance, and that can often confuse your opponent. It takes a while to get used to it, and almost certainly have to have those sparring partners back in the gym. But Kennedy, very well-rounded, good on the ground, good on the feet. But Edwards never out of the first frame. And that left hand is the one to watch out for, Dean. Exciting and talented fighter, very powerful hooks is Edwards. Looking for the kicks early though, Chris. Nice check. Oh, right, that was a left hand straight down the pipe. And again, Edwards fires. Edwards connecting there, setting up that left. And the moment he lines up that left shoulder in between the two shoulders of Kennedy, straight in it comes. Kennedy's doing a good job of keeping his front foot in the same position, facing Edwards. What he's got to do is walk to the outside. He can't circle into that power hand. Edwards again, swinging there, moving the head. Closing off, controlling the ring, working the geometry here. Edwards looking for that big highlight reel. And Edwards is closing his cage off, and I love the way he uses his kicks to do that. See that kick there, he steered him. He steered him to where he wants him to be, and he'll fire that power left hand straight down the pipe. Edwards training out of UTC in Birmingham, alongside some of the very best in the UK. Kennedy making his debut in the pro ranks tonight. Also a very gifted group he trains with as well. So two young men looking to make an impact. A lot of hand fighting here, Dean. Kennedy's good at throwing power shots when he's moving back. I like to see him. Oh, there's a big punches there from Edwards. I like to see him draw Edwards in a little bit. But Edwards looking to time him as well, Dean. And again, the hand tapping, you see that often here in this open stance matchup. Both guys trying to battle for lead feet, and more importantly, that rear hand as Edwards pumps in, looking for the uppercuts. Kennedy backs off. Edwards swinging for the fences, a Hail Mary just whisking by the chin of Kennedy. Barrages of punches and knees there from Edwards, and he's still got pinpoint precision striking, even in those throws. Oh, beautiful level change, and Edwards now lands on top. Edwards with the surprise shot there in what had been a glorified kickboxing contest. And it's Fabian Edwards for the first time on top here, sitting in half guard. 
This is why Fabian Edwards is such an exciting prospect. He was able just to dictate the pace there and switch it up. He start thinking about passing out of this half guard position. He's going to look for the guillotine, Chris. What a fine grip. Going for that power choke there. Kennedy realizes that and starts to protect himself. Dangerous times here. Edwards looking for the knee. And a beautiful elbow lands flush to the chin of Kennedy. Kennedy ate that like it was lunch. Kennedy now looking to stand up. And Edwards did a great job of firing that knee and coupling it with the elbows. But like you said, Kennedy has got a chin on him and he takes center cage. Shovel uppercut there from Kennedy. Edwards covers up. Kennedy is not backing down from this contest. There was a huge amount of hype. Nobody wanted to fight Fabian Edwards. And that's what you'll see from an underdog. He wants the win. He wants, he's hungry. The wolf climbing up the hill is always hungrier than the wolf on the top. Edwards backing off, circling there to the right. Resets, looking to land that left. And then it's Kennedy who looks for the level change. Nice level change, but he didn't initiate his legs. There was no power behind that shot. He initiated the legs. It forces your opponent to stumble back, which gives you time to start taking him down. Lovely pull out there from Kennedy. Great commitment there from Kennedy. The reshot, the second attempt, key in putting Edwards down. Will he be able to keep him there? Edwards looking to stuff the head in the overhook. Quite complacent in this position here because Kennedy's not pushed up and offering any strikes. You can see here, Kennedy wants to get his head up and land those strikes. He's got to keep Edwards busy. Well, it was a contest that we knew would get off to a quick start, and Dean, it did. Let's take a look at some of the highlights there. You can see some of the beautiful striking on display from both men, but it was Edwards who connected first. And it was Edwards' timing and his speed that decides in these exchanges. He just gets off a little quicker than Kennedy. Edwards, though, blitzing inside, punching profusely there between the guard of Kennedy, landing that left hand more than a half a dozen times. But that was the most surprising moment of this contest thus far, Dean. Very high fighter IQ there from Fabian Edwards. And this is what we talked about. Aaron Kennedy needs to drag Fabian into these later rounds, put him into the deep water. We all know Fabian is a finisher. And Fabian certainly having moments of brilliance, probably the closest to finishing this contest. But Kennedy is in it to win it tonight. Both men athletic, both men on the rise. Both men looking to take that next big step forward in their Bama career. And referee here, Daniel Mobahidi, has actually called our doctor in for a quick assessment. All clear, and we continue here in Dublin tonight from the sold out three arena. Bama, your home for European mixed martial arts and sports entertainment. And let's see if Kennedy can put together these combinations and disguise a takedown of his own. We know he's got good dominant top pressure, good ground skills, and if he can drag Edwards through a tough, grueling, grappling fight, it could sap the cardio of Fabian Edwards. But look at the kick catch from Edwards. Edwards flying in there for the scissor knee, and then connecting with the left as Kennedy collapses. Kennedy trying to regain composure here, but Fedwer Edwards jumps on his back. Edwards has got to get that other hook in. He flattens him out now. He's got to get that right leg in. And Edwards rolls through, cranking on the neck there. And it's a tap out! Fabian Edwards with a stunning submission tonight in Dublin. Wiles the crowd once again. Blink and you'll miss it indeed, Dean. Such technique and leverage and power in that position. He didn't even need the second hook, just finished with the choke. What an incredible display from Fabian Edwards, and what a contest it was. Bama 30, powered by Bet Price. This bout ended at 44 seconds of the second round. To your winner by submission, Fabian the Assassin Edwards. So, Mr. Edwards, talk me through that win. Huh? Talk me through that win. To be honest, yeah, I ain't really happy with my performance. You know what I mean? I, I loaded up on the shots. I could have finished them in the first round, you know what I mean? These guys they ain't on my level. And I came in tonight, I loaded up, and I made, it, I made it hard work for myself. It wasn't hard work, I made it hard. So, I ain't really that happy, to be honest. Don't be too disappointed. <laughs> Tell me what's next for you. Um, 
I'm trying to get on the September card, but I'll see how my foot's feeling. And um, just back to the gym next week, back working, cleaning up all those sloppy mistakes I made in the fight. Yeah, and just, you know what I mean? Dublin, give her up to Fabian Edwards. <laughs>